guys in this video I gonna show you my fixed and mapped PC reacting blades I will use new model MIDI cat from Storm Elder Touch OSC amazing surface controller for iOS and Android So here is my blade, drum, percussion bass, lead, rhythm, some sequence, modulation, mixer, FX and master section with clock, divider, amp multiplier and record button as well. So I will use a new Storm Elder MIDI CAT model. Uh, this model includes MIDI feedback so it won't destruct your patches and just send to controller the position, the right position of knobs so it's very useful for making fixed tracks and so on so let me launch so let me launch my template so you can see controls uh, jump to their positions uh, like in the visverac view so if i press a record button it's turned off and let's run this patch So here is a new uh, MIDI CAD models. I mapped two channels from one device. My, uh, my iPad mini is uh, channel one and channel two here. So as you can see, already have a huge mapping around 200 control changes. Here is the list and for the second channel as well. So let's dive in my template. So first uh, list on my controller is a uh, drum. Uh, it contains kick, head, head one and snare. I use eight phase from Storm Elder with uh, Erica Drums Pico to choose pre-saved uh, sounds which I like so it feels comfortable when jamming here is the knobs of uh, Rift On from Bok Audio. Here is a pitch. Uh, oh, sorry, this is octave and this is fine tuning. Not exactly fine tuning, but one. Uh, there is note switcher actually. And here is equalizer on kick drum. There is a frequency and uh, decibel controls. So let's mute tracks in mixer 
and we're gonna listen um, kick drum so here is a pitch shifting Next one will be hi hat. Let's unmute it. Next one will be main hi hat. percussion okay next step is um, uh, additional percussion sounds from energy of geodesics it's controls here so it's a course and the pitches and controls, sorry. Uh, next step is uh, bass. I use bleak oscillator from world with uh, amazing new steer dual dual LPG low pass gate which is controlled from the segment generator so let's unmute it let's turn low pass gate Next 
next one is a graph or I think grids. So I'd save a color coding here. Sorry, the swing map X map Y chaos very handy and live techno kind of situation. Okay, so next up is a sequencer, two sequencer from Bock Audio EDDR. First one for lead and second one for pad and amazing raving quantizer from Ripple Zen. So here is an octave for lead. So there is a synth quantizer. Let's change that. Let's change the sequence. Change the di direction. Oops, it really doesn't like to work. I think uh, it cannot be fixed, sadly. some pad called lit and pad so it's time to check this out here is a plate without mapping of frequency knob because everything controlled by quantizer and um, sequencer so here is harmony timbre morphing and attenuators and here is uh, Bull's Basil for pet. And with tiny faithy filter from Bidu, very nice sounding on low segment of frequencies. Let's turn this octave down a bit. Next step is a modulation. Already mapped some to some modules and I should say that Sidman generator from Audible Mutable Instruments is a very compact and handy LFO and envelope uh, generator. All mobs, knobs and buttons can be mapped also in the LFO mods and here Um, 
select Octage Source. I mapped Rate and Wave. Yes, and this knob is a amount of LFN modulation from Squinky Labs. Random slewed voltage, and here is uh, black holes. Nice, really nice design. These models have to be mapped from Touch OSC, I should say. a little problem with VCRAC MIDI implementation, so uh, buttons can be push only, not toggle, so we can't get an information for what this knob or three button exactly, what state it has at the moment. But for live performances I think it's quite handy. Next step is a, a fix. So here is a chrono blob. I mapped feedback here. Uh, two CV modulations, which is really awesome in this module. And here is amount of sense in the mixer. So you can see. And here is. Uh, wide width uh, knob from new MS encoder from VCV Fundamental. Here is a reverb and I mapped size and decay, modulation and amount of reverb as well from Squinky Labs Mixer and this is width for reverb as well, so you can make a nice mono reverb with modulation. Here is the master section, here is a reset button on impromptu clocked and there's a run gain there's a clock multipliers and dividers dangerous second ones and here is a um, multiplier from clear factor correct collection uh, this module is not included in VSV Rack Plugin Manager and I drop the link in the description below. Uh, as you can see, it's a strange implementation of the lead here, but uh, I have an old version installed and new version available so don't worry so much and here is a gaps clock divider from Holonic amazing variable tool and here is a record button for uh, VCV 
the mental recording model. So I hope you enjoy this video. This touch OS controller is super awesome, worth every penny you will get them. So if you have a surface on Android or iOS, uh, you should get it. That's really awesome. Thank you for watching. You can get um, this template on my Patreon page. This is this was a really hard work to map all these buttons and then map it in VCVREC. So and you will get this template. So and thank you for support in advance and thank you for watching see you later